It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl. So nice to have you here today. We have two great elementary schools playing our game today and uh, as we were coming on, they were singing the Science Bowl theme song over there. Play along with us today and test your own science IQ. Let's meet today's teams. First from Scotchtown Hills Elementary, would you please welcome Janelle Basole, Chase Atwater, and Delaney McGinnis. And from Woodmore Elementary School, here they are. J uh, Kaylin Johnson, Bryson Pruitt, and Ibrahim Olamiji. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10 points, and the tougher ones on the right worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points, no penalties ever for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds, one of these two teams will come back to play again and perhaps advance to the semifinals. Let's go over and make sure everything is working properly. Let's go to that red team, and Chase, would you try your buzzer for me? It looks and sounds just fine. Good luck to you and to Delaney and to Janelle. How about that green team buzzer? Bryson. All right. Nice, confident smile. Nice, confident push over there. Good luck to you and to Kaylin and to Ibrahim. Congratulations to all of you. This is not easy. Some of you have been here before, but it takes courage. It takes guts to do this, to sit here and listen to me fire questions at you. We're going to have a good time today, and I know you're going to do your best, and uh, you've already won because you're representing your schools. You're great ambassadors. Here we go. We go alphabetically S before W, so Scotch Town Hills and Chase. Let's play this bowl. <coughs> Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, if a substance tastes sour, it is this kind of chemical that has a low pH. What kind of chemicals have low pHs <laughs> taste sour wood more? Yes, sodium. Sir. Not sodium, no. What kinds of substances taste sour and have low pHs, Chase? Acid. Acids, absolutely right. High pHs, those are bases, the opposite. Good comeback. Go red. Body systems for 15. 15 points in body system. S teams, long before safety razors were invented, men's shaving kits contained something called a styptic pencil, which had an anti-hemorrhagic function, meaning they used those to do what? Scotchtown Hills. Prevent ble bleeding. Yes, they stop the bleeding because sometimes in the morning you cut yourself with a razor, you nick yourself, so you took that little styptic pencil and it would, it would be kind of astringent, but it would stop that bleeding. Go red. Zooparade for 15. Zooparade, 15 points. Teams, your question is as follows. You know, if you cut yourself, and boy, it's not a, a, an easy cut, it's kind of a part, you get a bandage to pull it all together that looks like one of these insects, like the monarch variety. Scotchtown Hills. Butterfly? Yeah, it's called a butterfly bandage, and you put it on there. It has four sections, and it helps to pull the wound together. Yeah, you'll see those uh, in a lot of first aid kits, butterfly bandages. Try again, Red. A little quicker on that buzzer over there, Bryson. Kaylin and Abraham, you nudge and poke him, all right? Don't let him get away with these. Push on that buzzer, go. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. I will give you 15 points if you can give me two ways to pluralize the plant cactus. 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 
If you have more than one cactus, give me two ways to say that. All right, Scotchtown Hills. Cacti. Yes. Cactuses. Say it again. Cacti and cactuses. Yes, cacti and cactuses. And the third way is cactus. It's just like sheep. You don't have sheeps, all right? You don't put an S on. So cacti, cactuses, and cacti. Good. You got two of them. Go. Science potpourri for 15. So, science potpourri for 15? Yes. The question is as follows. Uh, if you have a smart watch, there's a little heart on it, and it measures something in BPM. What does BPM stand for? Wood more. Blood pressure. Blood pressure. Blood pressure. Blood pressure. BPM. Oh, blood pre pressure. Oh, my not quite, not quite. Blood nope, nope. Scotch on Hills, the heart icon on your smart watch, it measures in BPMs. What does BPM stand for? Beats per minute. Beats per minute. Yeah, you had the right idea over there, Bryson, but beats per minute. Go, red. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Uh, super bugs are not insects. No, these are kinds of bacteria that cannot be cured or killed with any of these kinds of chemicals. Scotch Todd Hills. Antibiotics. Antibiotics. Yeah, there are some antibiotics out there that now, some superbugs, we don't have anything to fight them with. So if you get these infections, uh, it is very difficult to get you to survive. That's where we are in the world right now. Okay, it's all Scotch Town Hills right now, 140 to 50 to Woodmore. Bryson, you're going to get them. All right, gets faster on that buzzer. Go chase. Super 8 for 10. Super 8 for 10 points. Teams, peregrines are falcons. Harpies, kind of eagle. And an emperor is one of these birds. An emperor what, Bryson? You rang in. What was your idea? Hawk. No, not a hawk. Peregrine falcon, harpy is an eagle, an emperor, what kind of bird? Penguin. Penguin. Penguin, an emperor penguin, that's right. The ones that waddle, you know, down there in the Antarctic, emperor penguins. Yes, indeed. Go red. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, the tougher the mental challenge, the wider these parts of your eye get. Woodmore. Pupil. Pupil, exactly right, yes. Widen out, get in all the information you need to get to that task and overcome that challenge. Thank you, Ibrahim, for your help. Now you're cooking, go, green. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. All right, teams. Uh, on a conifer tree, if, like a pine tree, like a Christmas tree, if it is wounded, out comes this substance that forms a scab, just like you form a scab when you cut yourself. What's the substance that comes out of those conifer trees sap. to help cover up a wound? Not sap. Good try. Scotchtown Hills chlorophyll? on carnivorous trees. What? Chlorophyll. No, resin. Resin. Mm, the buzzer says we've come to the end of the first round. That was a quick first round. Scotchtown Hills. Out in the lead with 150, Woodmore has 60, and we'll be back with the second part of Science Bowl in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back to Science Bowl. So nice to have you here today. We're enjoying this game here in the studio. Hope you are at home as well, or if you're in school, uh, we've got six players here. A couple of them have played our game before. Some are here for the very first time. Let's go and meet them. Let's go to Scotchtown Hills up there in Laurel, Maryland. And Chase, nice to have you back again. And yeah. Delaney, nice to have you back again. And Janelle, you're here for the very first time. Chase, tell us a little bit about your school. Who's your principal? Mrs. Prevost. Absolutely. And she is out there behind you 100%. I know she and everybody at Scotchtown Hills is rooting for you. Who's your coach? Mrs. Taylor and Mrs. Harvey. Wonderful. And they're both here today, and uh, they'll be out in a few moments. And I know they have worked long and hard to get you ready. And thanks to both of you for everything you've done for Science Bowl over the years. Uh, any alternates on your team, Chase? Yes. Just uh, first names. Alea and Bailey. And they'll be out in a few moments' time. I always like to ask, as you know, uh, what it is you like about your schools. And Chase, when you talk about Scotchtown Hills, what do you tell people? What do you brag about? I like that there are different choices, like orchestra, and band, and chorus, mm. 
and you get to stay after school for some activities or different activities for you to choose from. There's extracurricular activities. They're as important mm -hmm. as what you learn in the classroom. Uh, are any of you in band or chorus? Or yes. Are you musicians over there? Chase, which one are you in? I'm in <laughs> band and chorus. Wow. What instrument or instruments do you play? I play the flute. Wonderful. So is there an orchestra then? There's obviously yes. an orchestra <laughs> there. Wonderful. What do you want to do someday, Chase? I want to be a veterinarian. Veterinarian. We're talking about your dog. What's your dog's name? Logan. Well, Logan, yeah. I bet you're very good with Logan, too. Delaney, nice to have you back. She's very used to being in the spotlight. This young lady is an actress and uh, recently in A Christmas Carol, right? What did you play? I played Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim. Um, are you a singer as well? Yes. yes. Uh, what got you, what uh, gave you the acting bug? Um, my mom mus is the musical director for a couple of performances at our playhouse, and she brought me with her one time, and I wanted to keep doing it. Yeah, it was a good fit. So we'd like to see you on the stage and the silver screen someday. Yes, you're a good player. Janelle, nice to have you here. Want to be in Surgeon someday, yes? And you were inspired to do that because? Because of my sister. She also wanted to be a surgeon and my grandma. Wow, so it's in the family. It's in the blood, yeah. Acting was in the blood. Medicine's in your blood over here. And you're in chorus or band? Yeah. Uh, Janelle? No. Nothing, okay. What do you do in your spare time? I um, like to watch documentaries and learn more about the body. Wonderful, wonderful. That makes a lot of sense. All right, Woodmore, nice to have you guys here. Uh, Bryson, your first time on this show. Why would you want to do this? Because I love doing science things, and my favorite thing to do in science is probably study animals and grow plants. Wow, wow. I bet your science fair projects are out of this world. Yeah, the one I'm doing right now is growing algae in three different types of fertilizers. Wow, they say algae is the hope of the future, that we can use that for fuel and not fossil fuels, if we can refine it and make it uh, somehow cost effective. You do a lot of things in your spare time, young man. Share that with the audience. I know you play the violin, you play the piano, you're into sports. Tell us. Um, in my spare time, I like to um, play the violin and piano. I go to lessons. And I also like to play sports like soccer and basketball. And I like to code. And when I go to summer camp, I usually go to coding camp. That's an awful lot that you do. I told him earlier, I said, he found time to come even do this today. You know, you have a longer resume than some of us adults <laughs> around here. You're a good player. Keep it up in the second half. I want to see you get some more points. Kayla, nice to have you here. You do everything, too. I know you're into Legos. You play the clarinet. What else do you do in your spare time? Um, I like to do gymnastics. I go on Monday and Thursday nights. Wow. I enjoy putting together, like, the large Lego sets. Yeah. You like to read? Yes. Yeah, I know you are a good reader because you're such a good player here. What do you want to do someday? I want to be a scientist, and then I want to run for president, and then I want to hopefully do an eight-year term. Eight years. She, she not only wants to be president, she wants to make sure she gets reelected. Enough time to do something good. Yeah, I'll vote for you. I'll vote for you if I'm still around, Caleb. Abraham, nice to have you here. Why do you want to be here? Um, because I, I because I like um all the things that you learn from science. Like science can teach you many more things than any other subject. I agree. You know, you're preaching to the converted over here. I think science is just the best here. You're a good player, too, and I like how you're helping out Bryson over there. Have you thought about a career as yet? Yeah. Like what? An uh, engineer or something. An engineer, yeah, because STEAM is very important now. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, everything together. And that's kind of what we try to do on Science Bowl. We try to blend all those subjects together. All right, let's get back to the game. Woodmore 60, 150 for Scotch Town Hills. Last correct answer came from you, Bryson. So start us out. Green things for five. Green things for five points. You know, sometimes when you're looking at something, there's so many details in front of you that you can't see the big picture, which is why they have the saying, sometimes you can't see the forest for all of the what? Chase. Trees. Trees. You can't see the forest for the trees. You know, you're all hung up on the details. You can't see the whole picture. Good. Go red. Let's get physical for 20. Physical for 20 points. All right, teams. 300 years ago, Isaac Newton showed that white light could be broken up into all the colors of the rainbow by using one of these pieces of glass. 
What was that thing called, Scotstown Hills? Prism. You got that right. He was looking through a prism. Even a raindrop is a prism. You know, you can see it coming through the rainbow in the sky. Go red. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, recently some, I know you like plants, Bryce, and you'll get this. I know you're into algae. Some scientists recently took water and light and carbon dioxide and they made fuel, just like what process that takes place in plants every single moment. Red, green has rung in. Photosynthesis. Sorry. Photosynthesis. It is photosynthesis. He, you were getting it from both sides. There was no way you were not going to say that. All right, go green. What should we do? Go ahead. Let's get, let's get, let's, let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, you've all seen it done. Menthos candies, Diet Coke, pull them together. Huge geyser because you have produced a lot of... Oh. Say it. Carbon dioxide. Yeah. Thanks, Kaylin. Good answer. Go. Bryson. What should we do now? Let's go. Science potpourri. Go ahead. You choose. That's your job. Science potpourri for 10. Science potpourri for 10 points. Teams, if you do your science fair experiment and you take it in, could be that there's a lot of this substance that makes us individuals in on our chromosomes. Go ahead. Okay. Genes. What are genes made of? Cells. Cells. No. Scott Stein Hills, your science fair project could have a lot of this from your parents on it, the stuff that identifies us as people that we find in our chromosomes. What you got? Details. DNA. DNA. Some of your parents' DNA will be on that project. It's a good thing we can't detect it because maybe we'd have to give them the medal. Not that they did it for you. Not that they did it for you. Go green. Um, let's, let's do Dateline Science for 10. Dateline Science for 10 points. I can't believe God plays dice with the cosmos. So said this famous scientist who came up with the theory of relativity and had hair that never looked like it was combed. Scott Hills. Einstein. Einstein. Albert Einstein, probably the most famous scientist of them all. Go red. Science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. This year, the Nobel Prize was given out for the people who invented the lithium ion batteries that we have in our phones and our iPads and in everything. That Nobel Prize was for what field of science? Nobel Prize in this field. Engineering. Not engineering, that's a good try. The Nobel Prize in what field honored the discoverer, the maker of lithium ion batteries? Technology. Chemistry. Chemistry. The Nobel Prize in chemistry. Try again, red. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, cavemen could not go to the Safeway and buy canned goods. But what they did have were bones and they could keep them for months, crack them open, and eat this stuff that was inside. What's inside bones that is edible and keeps for months? What you got one more? Meat. Not meat, not meat. Scotch Town Hills, what do you find inside of a bone? Tissue. Marrow. Marrow, it's called, bone marrow. Try again, red. Zooparade for 20. Zooparade, 20 points. All right, teams, we know that Crabs and insects do not have bones, but they do have an exo what on the outside? Skeleton. skeleton. Yeah, they got that exoskeleton made of chitin. You got that right. You almost jumped out of your chairs over there. You knew that one. Go green. 25. Green things for 25. Green things for 25. The big one in that category. Teams recently, archaeologists found a piece of amber like they found in Jurassic Park, but inside wasn't a mosquito. There was a beetle. And they tested it, and they found that insects, like the beetle, started doing this for plants over 90 million years ago. What did they do for plants? Insects. Bryson? Pollinate. Yes. Good. 25, go. Thanks. Thanks, Caleb. Let's do Dateline Science for 20. Dateline for 20 points is a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, please. Back in the 1930s and 40s, 
Franklin Delano Roosevelt was our president. You see him there next to a little girl. He is in a wheelchair because he suffered from infantile paralysis, otherwise known as this P initial disease, Scotchtown Hills. Polio? Polio, that's right. He had polio. He's there at Warm Springs, Georgia, helping to get treatment there, getting some treatment. Go red. Thank you, Delaney. Good answer. And Chase. Sue Parade for 25. Sue Parade for 25. Big one in that category. Look back to the monitor, please, at the duckbill platypus. Odd mammal. Lays eggs. But since it's a mammal, it produces milk, not through nipples. It comes out through its skin onto its fur, so its babies lick the milk from the fur. What L-initialed word means to make milk? Bachetown Hills. Phylactate. Say it again. Phylactate. Lactate. 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 Yes, indeed. That is correct. Good. Go. Rib. Body systems for 25. Body systems for 25 points. Teams, both men and women have something called an Adam's apple. In a man, it's usually more prominent. It's a piece of cartilage over top the voice box. What's the L initialed word for your voice box? Scotch on Hills. The larynx. The larynx, yeah. The larynx is in there. Good, go red. Let's get physical for 25. Physical for 25 points. A collapsed star is known as a black hole. An exploding star is known as one of these. Supernova. A supernova. You get that right. Thank you, Abraham. You're raw right on the mark over there. Go green. Go. Let's do silent potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points. Teams, if you watch CSI on television, crime scene investigation, what F initial branch of science is that all about? Scotchtown Hills. Forensics. Forensics. That's it. Thank you, Janelle, for your help on that. Go red. Dateline science for 25. Dateline for 25 points. Teams Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla fought each other for years. They both were investigating electricity. They were trying to decide which is the best way to send electricity across a wire. Two letters on both sides. This way or this way? For 25 points, AC or DC? Go again, red. Zuprate for five. Zuprate for five points. Teams, it's ironic that in the animated movie Bambi, this malodorous mammal was called Flower. Flower was a what, Bryson? Skunk. What was it? Skunk. It was a skunk. That's right. You know your animals. Kaylin helped you out. Go, Woodmore. Let's do. Go ahead. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, if I'm asking you a question like I am right now, and you're not sure of the answer, you might say, Okay, Mr. Z, just off the top of my what? Chase. Head. Off the top of my head. This is what I think. Go, Red. Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. This hit animated movie is all about what happens to water at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Name the movie. What more? Precipitation? Nope. Name the hit animated movie that's all about what water does at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Name the movie. Frozen. Frozen. That's it. Go red. Science for three for five. Pope three for five points. Teams, if you're a football player and you tear your ACL, uh, you might need an MRI. ACL is anterior cruciate ligament, and MRI is a resonance image. The M stands for what attractive piece of metal. Magnetesium? No, no. Bryson, what does the M stand for? Magnet. Magnet, that's right. Magnetic resonance image. Last question of the game. Dateline for five points. Teams, even better at trapping carbon dioxide than trees are these largest animals on Earth. Bryson. Elephants. Not elephants. Good try. Largest animals on Earth. Better at taking, trapping CO2 than even trees. Whales. Whales it is. Absolutely right. And with that, we come to the end of this episode of Science Bowl. We'll be right back with you. Don't go away. Welcome back, everybody, to this edition of Science Bowl. We are so proud of our players here today. The team that had all of the experience did very well. And the team that is new to our game, boy, did they do well, too. 
and they're only fourth and fifth graders. Let's look at that final tally today. Woodmore has 160. Scottstown Hills, what a great win, 295. Let's give them a round of applause. Round of applause. And their coaches are here today, Miss Harvey, Miss Taylor, and the alternates. Bailey waved everybody. Hey, Bailey, and Alea is here too. They're all smiles as they should be. And let's have a round of applause for this Woodmore team. <laughs> Kaylin and Bryson and Ibrahim and their alternates, Alamat and Alizan, and also Mr. De La Serna is there and their principal, Miss Walker, is here. Miss Walker, thank you so much for joining us. And I want to see you guys come back and play again. You put in a wonderful performance. You never gave up. And not only are you great students, you're great sportsmen, and we loved having you here. We loved having you too. I'm Dave Zarin. I'll see you next time on Science Club. Bye-bye.